Uh, right, so another PS5. This is going to be the last one of the night. Okay, this one might actually be fixable. So, another no power. Except this time it is actually a no power and not a beep on beep off. What a surprise, yet another dead PS5. Don't know if the power supply has been checked. I will try it. Buy a PS5, get an extended warranty. Well, here's a better idea, just don't buy a PS5. <laughs> <laughs> right, so unlike the last one I just looked at, this one is actually a no power. So there's a, there's a big difference. When when someone says to you, if you're doing this for a living and someone says to you, oh, I've got a PS5 with no power, always ask them, is it no power or is it blue light of death? Like, does it show a blue light? Because there's a massive difference between a blue light of death and... Um, a complete no power. A complete no power is generally going to show some signs of a short. Hopefully this one is going to show a sign of a short. And hopefully it isn't going to involve reballing something. Because I really can't be arsed with that. Not again. I've done nothing but reball all day long. And I really don't fancy doing another one. And there we go. Let's get rid of the disk drive. Before I do anything, I am going to try a power supply. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay.com. With over eight years experience in PCB manufacturing, PCBWay is the best choice to get your project up and running. PCBWay offers custom printed circuit boards, flexible circuit boards, CNC and 3D printing. PCBWay are also now proud to announce their new OEM and electronics manufacturing service. From proof of concept to functional prototyping, electronics manufacturing and mass production, they've got you covered. Head over to the link in the video description to learn more about their OEM and electronics manufacturing services or check out their welcome bonus on PCB manufacturing. Thanks PCBWay for sponsoring the channel, now back to the video. So for that I don't need to take those screws out. Damn it, I hate these. But this side especially, absolutely hate it. Hang on a minute. I'm doing it upside down. Ha! I was just testing you guys. None of you noticed. So you all failed the test. <laughs> Now I've lost my screwdriver. I was looking at my laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's your excuse, is it, mate? That's your excuse, is it, mate? Uh, it might help if I took that screw out. Again, I was testing you all. And you all failed. You all failed the test. Right, what's the deal? No, no beep, no beep. All right, yeah, that heating's a little bit battered, isn't it? This has been dropped, ain't it? Right, I'm going to leave my power supply in. That's had a replacement HDMI port at some point by the look of that. Uh, actually, I wonder if we get 12 volts on this power supply. Let's just double check. So, top left corner. We do. It says negative, but if I flip the leads around. There we go. 12 volts. Seems fairly stable. Whoops. Seems fairly stable to me. 
so that power supply works so I am going to pop that one back in right okie dokie yeah have a good night illusions cheers thank you buddy oh, I appreciate you mate thank you thank you thank you let me just confirm that mine actually works just to make sure Towards a new house fund. Thank you, dude. Thank you, mate. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the support, buddy. Yeah, we're getting 12 volts on my test power supply. Yeah, very generous of you, Stephen. Thank you, mate. I try. And succeed. <laughs> and succeed, mate. Thank you. Right, well, let's try and fix this one for Stephen, then, shall we? Not literally for Stephen. Can't give it him. <laughs> but let's try and fix it for Stephen. Alright, so let's make sure we've got 12 volts coming in. We do indeed. We've got no voltage drop. But even though it's completely different to the last one, the last one being two second blue light of death, the process is still the same. We've still got to check for the same voltage rails. So let's have a look for 5 volt here. Yep, 3.3 is missing, 3.3 is missing, okay, so I assume we don't get 3.3 volts down here on these power supply, uh, power button resistors, I think these are pull up resistors, I don't know, or pull down resistors. So, 3.3 volt missing, okay. That means we've likely got a short on the 3.3 volt. We've got 5 volts there. We haven't got 3.3 volts coming out. Okay. There's no point going any further in terms of voltage rails. Because if the 5 volt is missing, then everything else is going to be missing. Every, sorry, the 3.3 volt. So if 5 volt is there, 12 volt is there, 3.3 volt is missing. So that means generally the 2.5, the 1.8, the 1.5, the 1.1, the 0.8, all of those rails are also going to be missing. So it's kind of pointless going any further in terms of testing for voltage rails. So what we can do instead is, now that we know that the 3.3 volt rail is missing, we've got a general idea of where to start. So we need to be looking on the 3.3 volt rail. And it actually needs 3.3 volt rail to even go into standby. Because it needs a 3.3 volt rail for the power button. And what happens is the 3.3 volt rail on the power button, when you press the power button, that shorts out the 3.3 volt rail to ground, pulls that rail down, and tells the console that it's time to turn on. So if there's no 3.3 volt, then the console doesn't know that the power button's being pressed. So even though we've got some power going in, it doesn't have a clue that the power button's being pressed because the 3.3 volt rail's missing. And I've got a fairly decent idea on where to start. So question number one is, is the 3.3 volt rail shorted to ground? Let's have a look in diode mode. No, it is not. Not on that side, anyway. It's not being pulled down to ground where it's being generated. It's not being pulled down to ground on this 5 volt line. So, I'm going to take a guess and say that, yep, that bank of caps is fine. How about this 3.3 volt rail? That's a little bit low on that line there. How about this rail? Nope. 
The ram is absolutely fine. So how about the encoder? No. No, the encoder seems fine. So let's see what the boot sequence does then when we use the bench power of light. And let's pay attention to the boot sequence. We get no boot sequence. Huh. We get absolutely no boot. Okay, that is weird. We get absolutely no boot sequence at all. So, nothing at all happening with the power supply. This is a little bit different to usual. So, normally when the 3.3 .3 volt rail is missing, it's short. This one is not. So, is this Infineon chip bad? Let's have a look. Right, let's just get some readings from this chip. So, this is this, I believe, is one of the main power management ICs. This pad here is linked directly to the APU. That's reading fine, okay. Good. Hmm. So all of the usual suspects are miss uh, seeming okay. For when we've got a missing 3.3 .3 volt rail. Huh. Audio I see issue. Huh. That's not right. I don't think. Don't think that's right. Sorry, no, not audio I see. Um I think it's uh Ethernet, I think. That's not right. That's short. Do 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 It's either audio or Ethernet, I don't know which one. That chip that was showing is short. Oh, they're, they're all going to show us open on that side because they're connected to the Ethernet port. Uh, right, okay. So this area is coming up as shorted. Which is not normal. So I don't know whether that's going to be down to the chip, down to a bad cap somewhere, or back to the south bridge. I believe it goes back to the south bridge, but... I don't know. I don't intend to remove the south bridge unless it's a last resort. So I'm going to remove this chip and see if I can find. Well, see if I can clear the short.
get rid of that for a minute. Let's test again. And our survey says... Short still there. On both sides. Hmm. So... Is it somewhere on this side? Is the short somewhere this side? Well, he's definitely short this side. Well, that's for sure. Right. How's it going, dear mate? Still at it, mate, yeah. I might be forced to inject voltage because there's no way I'm removing all of them caps just to find out it's a safe bridge and have to put them all back and reboard a safe bridge. Uh, <laughs> that's not happening. Still short. Damn it. Yeah, it's voltage injection time. Okay. Uh, let's inject one volt. Oh wow, five amps. Damn. And it's a safe bridge. Of course it is. Of course it's a safe bridge. Because why wouldn't it be the safe bridge? Why wouldn't it want me to reboil another chip? Why wouldn't it want me to reboil another chip at 2.32am? <laughs> you asshole. Hang on a minute. Oh, no, it's not. Damn. No, it's not. Hello, Mr. Cap on the um, dialogue I see. I was feeling heat. Excess heat from the board. There you are. I can see you, you little bastard. I can see you, you little bastard. <laughs> I can see you. It's either this one or that one. It's one of these two. Ha! Ha! I think you'll find that's a good reading. You missed all that YouTube boiler cash. <laughs> no, nope, my YouTube boiler cash is going towards moving. Damn it. Give me some more flux on this bitch. And you, get off of my property. Will you be moving far? Nah. No, staying in the area, mate. Yeet. Oh, I've got to figure out which way this goes. 
Do 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 do. Ah, that is the right way. I'm not actually sure yet, Ellis. Um, probably, well, hopefully before Christmas. Or it depends on finances. Go. Right, I'm just going to get rid of the little bit of excess solder. Notice how in the UK we pronounce solder the correct way. Here's something for the Americans to think about. If it was pronounced sodder, then how do you pronounce board holder? <laughs> so do you have do you have to have four kids to go up the list? Um, what list we're talking about, mate? Right, let's get rid of this extra bit of excess solder. Oh, on the council list. Um, it depends on situations. Uh, like you, you can be a single person homeless and be um, like top of the list, like what they call gold band. Uh, like when I got, because I had a council for well, uh, it was a housing group. Um, but when I had a housing group property. I was homeless and I actually got put straight on gold band and I got I got it within two weeks of registering housing lists in general. Yeah. Um yeah, it just depends on personal circumstances I guess. So I'm glad I didn't take that safe bridge off. So when I injected voltage to start with, I must have been feeling the heat from when I took the chip off on the safe bridge because the safe bridge is fairly close by like this is where I was heating up that's where the safe bridge is but on the other side so I must have been feeling it from there and then saying this side this is the area that's the cap that I've just replaced and there's the actual safe bridge so yeah there we go, you see. Destroy the board. Test again. So, red probe. On ground. Now that is a beautiful reading if I've ever seen it. That is a beautiful reading if I have ever seen it. Oh, that's not a beautiful solder joint though. But that being said, let's fix that crappy solder job. Whoever did that solder job does not belong near a board. Beep. Say so beep, you bastard. Thank you. There you go.
Can't believe someone tried to pass that off as decent soldering. What a scumbag. What an absolute scumbag. Yep, get it, got it right. What a noob. See, here at the Coder Productions, we do it right. We would never pass that off as decent soldering. You should have seen how you my family repair I've seen today. You have had a heart attack, completely destroyed it. Oh, man. I've seen some bad ones. You should join up to Discord, mate, and post them on Discord. Like, we like to have a good laugh at other people's expenses. <laughs> like, we like to laugh at other people's fuck-ups. All right. I think what I'm going to do is just readjust this liquid metal. There we go. Beautiful. For now, we're going to see if this is working. So here's the question. Do we have more test rails? We have 12, 5, oh, we still have no 3.3. .3. We still have no 3.3. .3. Let's just check my boot sequence. Let's see if we've got any boot sequence yet. We do not. So that's giving me a normal reading now. So unless... Unless there's something just not... Sold it properly. No worries, Ellis. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. I appreciate you, mate. So, before I go jumping the gun and assuming it's a safe bridge, actually, is there any fuses here? Yeah, there is. Um, so, we've got a fuse here. Oh. Well, that fuse ain't good. Huh. That might explain something. Hardik Bay, welcome. Sorry for butchering your name there, buddy. So, in case you're wondering, that was reading 50 million ohms, that fuse. If we take a nose at the donor board, you will see it should be zero ohms. Well, there about. <laughs> Couple of ohms at most. Oh, fuck you, hot air. So, I guess here at the Code of Productions, we don't do it right. Hope this works as I need sleep. And, mate, I'm still going to put this piece of shit back together.
Damn it, you couldn't even see. Sorry. It's late and I'm tired. Can't, can't have up all the current. Well, I did just put 5 amps through it. So, yeah. It did just take 5 amps. So if it wasn't blown before, it's blown now. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I should have checked that before, really. I should have realised the fuse was there and checked it. There we go. Okay. Let's give it another try. Let's have a look at my boot sequence. Do we get a boot sequence? We do not. God damn it. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. We do have 3.3 .3 volt back though. There's your 3.3 .3 volt rail. But we still don't have a boot sequence. Why? That should be jumping up to 300 milliamps, and it's not. So 3.3 .3 volts is back. But it's not jumping up to 300 milliamps. And no power. So we've got 3.3 .3 volts on the power button. So what are we missing? Twelve there. Hmm. I did put the cap back here. Yeah. We're missing something. But nothing is happening on this one at all. So. Yeah. Something's obviously not turning on, is it? Somewhere, something is being blocked. And I don't know what. So. First of all, I'm going to try changing this chip. And if not, then I think he's going to force my hand in changing the South Bridge. You very well could have taken the South Bridge out. Any MacBooks on the way? Uh, I've got a few in, but not not with power issues. Um, they're all the only ones I've got left on jobs are like screen issues, keyboard issues, battery issues. Uh, but I have bought an A1708 off eBay, which is apparently coming tomorrow. Well, today, technically. BIOS battery, okay. Uh, should be, but that wouldn't normally cause an issue. So I've actually had these chips cause no power before. And I'm almost certain the last time I had it caused no power was when I had a short on this dialogue chip. God damn it. Did you get the Herms parcel? Um, not yet, no. I did get a Herms parcel today. With some phones in it. So there's a change, I guess. Right. Ha! <laughs> 
Ha! Boot sequence. The BIOS chip is dead. That's a normal boot sequence. I don't think these are changeable. It will boot and it will turn on, but I don't think it will update. But that will turn on. That much I can guarantee. Beep. Beep. Well, now that the BIOS chips had no power applied to it. Well, I don't think this will update. Even when the chip is buggered. Um, yeah, but if you can't apply power to it, you've got no way to read it, I don't think. I've got a reader. but Well, not to hand, but I've got a reader. But... I just don't think... Um, I just don't think there'd be any way to actually boot it. Please give me a power sequence. Oh, shit, damn, yes. Did it go into protection mode? Did it shut down to protect itself? Holy shit, damn, motherfucker, that's a boot sequence with the original BIOS. Damn. This might be fixable, boys. What did I miss? Uh, quite a lot, mate. Um, when did you leave? I found a shorted cap here on this dialog I see. Um, after injecting voltage, relieve that short by changing the cap. Put the chip back on, put the chip on the other side back on. Um, check my voltage rails, still didn't get any standby voltages for 3.3. Realised that F7003 had blown. Put it back together, got my 3.3 and 2.5 volt rails back. And then still no boot sequence. Took this chip off, put a donor chip on, on the BIOS chip. Got a boot sequence, turned it on. Put this chip back on and I've just got a boot sequence. That's a TLDR. That's a TLDR. Yeah, I'll get it back together now. I've just got I have got to do my job right no matter what. But I've got to clean it. And make sure the board's clean before I attempt to boot. Alright. Come on, let's work now, please. Here everyone's up to speed. They are indeed. They are indeed. Now just work, please. Just work. Just give me some good news. Just give me some good news once, just one time. This one's been a bit of a roller coaster, I'll be honest. But this one's been a bit of a roller coaster. This has to make a video. But this is a uh, pretty, pretty, pretty significant repair in terms of figuring out faults and stuff because it's the first time I've documented that dialogue I see going bad. Uh, or rather a cap on the dialogue I see going bad. It's not the first time I've come across it, but it's the first time I've caught it on video. So this has to make a video. All right. Hit the thumbs up button now and then it'll work. All right. No. Oh, you son of a boot sequence. Hello. Well, that's not a boot sequence because it's back feeding into the power supply. The chip next to the BIOS is the south bridge. It's not that. It wouldn't have booted a minute ago. Well, a few minutes ago. 
Why is it intermittent? Oh. What? Can't have a crack. I would have seen it. It's either that or we've just got a bad solder joint somewhere. I would have seen a crack in the board, surely. No, I don't think it'd be bad solder on the south bridge. Could be on here. Yeah, they did fix having a firmware update, mate. They did fix the uh, clock issue in a firmware update. I think that was only for PS4 anyway. I don't think it was for PS5. Most people would have given up. Never. Well, maybe soon because I am getting really, really tired. Well, while the board is warm right now, we have a boot sequence. Board clean, do I get a boot sequence? I do not. Can't be that cheap there, surely. I definitely have a connection there and that does boot up that does attempt to turn on like that um, so I'm gonna let the board cool down I'm not gonna move it but that is attempting to turn on when I'm getting the boot sequence that I'm expecting to get it is turning on. So we see we've got the boot sequence up there in the corner. Short out that power button. I don't know if you're going to hear this or not. Did you hear the beep? It's powering on. Oh, it could have been a bad solder joint around here. I'm not going to know until the board cools down. Still got the boot sequence, then yeah, that's that's at a normal temperature, not a temperature where a trace would expand or anything like that. So yeah, let's have a look. Yep. Yeah. That's with the original BIOS. That was a bad solder joint. It has to be. It has to have been a bad solder joint. Now the question is, is it going to boot up to a white light? Yes, it is. This has been one hell of a job. I mean, the next test is going to be when everything's back together. So can you come up with what seems to have been? Um, it seems to have been a bad solder joint when I resoldered one of them chips. Maybe. That's the only thing that makes sense to me. If, if this works once I've put it all back together, that's the only thing that makes sense to me. Uh, which would explain why when I was holding it literally there on the corner, it was working because it was making that contact that it needed to start the boot sequence which is something else learned as well because that means that this chip here will be what initializes that boot sequence as well right some technicians would have gave up yeah some would but i'm an idiot so <laughs> is she gonna boot yep 
Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. She be booting, boys. <laughs> she be booting. Got to have been a bad solder joint. Oh, yes. Now I'm happy again. Now I can sleep soundly. No, no, I wasn't beaten. I have now been working for... What time is it? It's half past four. Um, 18 hours straight without a break. 18 hours straight without a break. It's been a busy day. But we're finishing it on a winner. Finishing it on a winner. Awesome. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for hanging out. I really appreciate it. That was a fun ending. It was interesting. Computer Booter streaming. Um, highly recommend checking out Computer Booter. Honestly, top top guy. Genuinely recommend checking him out. I'm going to go and eat some food, and then I've got 13 consoles to document and get out the door. So, yeah. Thank you all for hanging out. And that's the reason I've been working all day, because... UPS screwed me over, and I ended up two days behind. So these would have been done two days ago. These would have been done by Monday. But yeah, thank you all for hanging out. I really do appreciate it. Uh, yeah, winner, winner. Good night, everyone. I've got to wait for the raid now. Awkward silences. Awkward silences. Two, one, and we're ready. There we go. Good night, everyone. Thank you all.